All right, Cinder, are you ready to train us? Yeah, but you forgot Snapdragon. Oh yeah, I forgot about Snapdragon. Snapdragon! Cinder! Oof. Snapdragon, are you okay? Uh, I'm fine, Cinder. I'm all right. What the heck happened there, Snapdragon? You just kind of fell from the ceiling. You know about that lesson that you were going to teach us today? Yeah, the teleporting thing? Yeah, um, I'm still trying to get the hang of it. <laughs> well, don't worry. By this, you'll be able to get the hang of it. Now, if you want to teleport successfully, Snapdragon, you got to concentrate on where you're going. Focus on picturing the place you want to teleport to. Then focus your power on teleporting to that place. For example... I just focused my teleportation on behind Cinder. Yep, you did teleport behind me. And now I'll teleport behind Snapdragon. Hi, Snapdragon. Wow, don't scare me like that. All right, it's time for your guys' turn. All right, I'll go first. Remember, Snapdragon, you want to concentrate on where you want to go. Try to picture it in your mind on where you want to teleport. Then focus your power on that specific image. All right. Crap. He tried teleporting across the bed, didn't he? Yep. And he didn't teleport right and fell off the bed. Yep. Don't worry, I'll get him. Ah. Uh, heal. Ah. Uh, thanks, Redco. Try again, Snapdragon, and make sure you try to focus this time. Got it. I did it. I actually did it. I did, Redco. I did it. Nice job, Snapdragon. Just practice a few more times, right? All right. All right, Cinder. Now you try it. Make sure you actually focus. All right. It worked. It worked. I teleported successfully. Good job, Cinder. All right, Redco. What's the next lesson? Glad you asked that, Snapdragon, because the next lesson is trying to teleport other plants and non-plants here. Do the same thing as you did before. Just focus on a plant or non-plant that you want to actually teleport here. But make sure you don't teleport non-zombies here. I will do a quick demonstration. Let me guess, you're doing a demonstration? Yep. And Scotty is finally making a video of you training Snapdragon and Cinder after 41 episodes? Yep. Well, it's about freaking time, Scott. <sighs> Let me guess, that's the amount of screen time I'm getting? Let me guess, it's because you can't come up with good fourth wall drills, can ya? I thought so. <sighs> you do realize that a fourth wall break always doesn't have to be me talking to you, right, Scott? Okay, good. And yes, before you say it, I am aware that I'm taking up most of the screen time in this part. I just want to get a little bit more screen time and break the fourth wall a few more times. And teach Scott how to break the fourth wall. Pfft, it wasn't finished! Wow, Scott, did you really have to carry on with that fourth wall break any further? Oh, so now you're having Redco break the fourth wall all of a sudden? Delta Foss, do you have a problem with that? No, 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 I don't have a problem with that. It's just that I'm really surprised you're breaking the fourth wall. Well, you're not the only one that could break the fourth wall. Now, Delta Fox, can we please get on with the video? Yes, ma'am. Alright, thank you. Now, you guys try to teleport a plant or non-plant here. Got it. <sighs> oh, hi there! Wait, out of all the freaking people you want to teleport here, you teleport Zombas here? Uh, no, I mean, I was trying to teleport some fart. Uh-oh. Hey, you wouldn't mind if I hijacked the video, would you, Scott? Come here, I'm gonna hijack the video. No, no, Zombas, stop! Hey, this is my video. <laughs> A few moments later. He scares the crows away, what can I tell ya? Oof! <sighs> oh, be back! Okay, this time Snapdragon, try not to teleport Zomboss here. Alright, fine. Yeah. <sighs> oh, hello. I did it! I did it, Red Cup, I did it! Good job, Snapdragon, you managed to get it on your second try. Can I be teleported back? I have to take care of the little one. Sure, Snapdragon, teleport her back. Okay, uh, how do I do that? Just do the same thing as you did before, but in reverse. Alright, hey. I hope I teleport her in the right place. Hold on, let me check. Yep, you teleport her in the right place. Okay, good. Oof. Now your turn, Cinder. Alright. Hey. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, hi there, Red Coat. Did you drop this? What, Zombast? I thought I teleported you away. Oh, I just launched it bad all the way back here. Of course you did. Now let's have a blast. <laughs> Don't worry, Cinder. I'll get him. No, wait, Cinder, don't. Ah. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, uh. Dang it, I missed. Na 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 boo boo, I'm hijacking the video. Let's play a little game that I like to call Hot Blast. Isn't it that battle minigame from Mario Party 1 and 2? Also, hi, can I like this? 
What the? Hey, you're not supposed to lie to Dad, you dumb fox. Thank you, Delta Fox. This is why I made you my assistant, and now... Ah, die not bad! <laughs> no, I refuse to be knocked out like that. What the heck? Zombos, you're not supposed to do that. When you're knocked out, you're knocked out. Game over, you're done. Uh, no I won't, because I don't follow the rules, remember? Oh, I remember. I'm just calling you out for breaking the rules. You know, like we always do. Because we haven't told that joke a thousand times. Don't worry, Redco. We'll beat him. Hurrah! Okay, we're really close to the ending of the video, so I'm just gonna use the effect of a few moments later, alright? Alright. A few moments later. Oh, come on. That was a cheap jump cut. <sighs> hey, we gotta save time on the video, Zomb Boss. I think we're gonna have to do one more part to end the video properly. Fair enough. Zomb Boss did waste a lot of time in the episode. Yeah, he sure did. Alright, Cinder, Snapdragon, good job. Thanks, Redco. Alright, Cinder, try that again. And this time, please make sure it's a plant or a non-plant that you're teleporting here, and not Zomboss. Or that blaster here. Seriously, we can't say the B word on YouTube? Oh, that sucks. Alright. <sighs> what the? Good job, Cinder. You managed to teleport a non-plant here. I did? I did! Oh, awesome! Now, let's try teleporting her back. Alright, we will do. Wait, what's going on? Whoa! Did I teleport her back in the right place? Uh, let me see. <laughs> yep, you teleported her in the right place. Awesome! Now, that concludes our today's training. You two go back home now. Alright, wait, are we gonna do training tomorrow? No, I'm on a date tomorrow. Oh, who's the lucky date? Well, you gotta wait till the next episode to find out. Yo, Tails! Tails! What? What? What is it, Apple? I heard that Redco, our leader, is going on a date with someone. She's going on a date with somebody? Oh, that's good for her. But don't you want to know who it is? No. Wait, it's not you, is it? What? Me? No, of course not. I is it you? You're not hiding secrets from me, are ya? No, I'm not hiding any secrets from ya. Are you sure about that, buddy? Because it looks like you're hiding secrets from me either way. No, I'm not hiding any secrets. Trust me, if I was on a date with Redco, would I be here right now? Uh, no. Then that answers your question. Oh yeah, it does answer my question. So I'm not dating Redco, and you're not dating Redco, then who is? I don't know, but I don't want to invade her privacy just to find out who it is. Oh, come on. It could be Taranza. No, what in the heck makes you think it's Taranza? What? Didn't you see Plushy News? No. What happened on Plushy News? Redco asked Taranza if he was actually interested, and Taranza nervously chuckled. That means he's on a date with Redco. Yeah, right. No, I'm being for real. That's what happened on the Plushy News. Look, even if Taranza was dating Redco, why would we go out of our way to spy on the both of them when they want to have some privacy on their date? Oh, come on, Tails. We might never know if it's Trance or not if we don't see ourselves. Come on, we just gotta take one little look and then we'll come back here and pretend we didn't see anything, alright? The answer is no, Apple. I am not gonna spy on our leader. Oh, come on. Thought whatever, I'll just go spy on her myself. If you get punched by Redco and have to clean up her entire house, don't come crying to me. I won't! Later. <laughs> okay, Redco should be meeting up with her date right here. She won't be able to find me under this hiding spot. Apple, what the frick are you doing? Uh, you don't see me. You don't see me. Okay, you see me. Apple, get the frick out of here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hi. All right, attempt number two, trying to find out who Redco date is, and it's it's Walnut Brother. What? You never heard that Walnut had a brother? What do you mean this is the first time he appeared on screen? Well, that is Walnut's brother and a- What, you want proof? You honestly think that's the same Walnut blush? Hi. <sighs> okay, look, they have a difference, okay? What, you want me to hold it out longer? See? Difference. Want me to face him towards the camera? Ugh. A little closer? There, there's a difference, alright? No, there's a clear difference. One is skinnier, one is fatter. Hey, don't you dare call me fat. Ow! Okay, okay, let's just get on with the next scene. <laughs> hey, Walnut's brother. Hi, Redco. Wait, it's not him? What do you mean it's not him? That would have been the perfect plot twist. It would have given Walnut's brother some characteristics. Well, if it's not him, then who is it? Oh, it must be Tranza. <laughs> Come on, Tranza, open up, you lazy piece of crap. Ugh, what is it, Apple? Come on, Tranza, open up the door. Ow, 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 Apple, stop, stop. Oh, hi, Tranza. Ow, Apple, what the heck do you want? Well, I just wanted to ask you if you were Redco's date. 
What? No, 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 I'm not Red Coast Dave. What made you think that? I, I'm not Red Coast Dave. Oh, really? Then why are you dressed up like that? This is how I'm always dressed. Oh, really now? That doesn't seem like your usual outfit. But this is my usual outfit. Yeah, right. That doesn't look like your usual outfit. I mean, that red scarf can't be used to impress Redco, you know, for your date with her. I am not on a date with Redco. Gosh, nobody will shut up about that ever since Plushy News. You're darn right nobody will shut up about it. Our leader is dating somebody and it's gotta be you. It's not me. Yes, it is. It has to be you. Hi, Transa. Oh, hi, Redco. <laughs> Wait, what? See, I told you I wasn't on a date with Redco. What? No, no, you have to be on a date with Redco. I mean, there's literally nobody else that can date Redco right now. Well, I can tell you who Redco is dating. Really? Tell me who it is. All right, just come closer and let me whisper it in your ear. All right, all right, all right. The person that Redco is dating is... You just got pranked, Apple! Oh, wait, what? <laughs> you just got pranked. Wait, 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 this is all a prank? <laughs> Heck yeah, it was. Oh, you definitely fell for it. Honestly, I didn't think you would fall for the prank. Wait, all of this was just a prank? So Redco isn't dating anybody? Nope, I'm not dating a single person. But you say you just wanted to find love, man. Oh, you silly, silly little apple. That was just dumb for the prank. Uh, uh, best prank ever. Wait a minute, you're not Walnut's brother. Yeah, you're right about that one. Oh, what's the matter? You grabbed the wrong walnut blush again. But, 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 ah, uh, man, I, ah, uh, uh, fuck, no. Is he gone yet? Yes, he's gone, Transa. Oh, thank goodness. I gotta admit, Redco, it was a genius tactic to tell Apple that it was just a prank. Even though it wasn't true. Thanks, Walnut. You're welcome, Echo. Now, me and Tails and my brother will leave you two alone to have some private time. Good luck, Transo, buddy. Did you have to hit me in the chest? I was trying to give you a high five! Yeah, but you don't give a high five to the chest. Forget about him, Transo. Let's just go on our date. Let's show, Redco, my dear. <laughs> you know, people are eventually gonna find out that you and I are dating. Don't worry about it. If anybody laughs in your face, I'll just give them a punishment, just like I usually do. And what punishment is that? Have a timeout on the moon for five hours? Oh, that is a big punishment. It sure is. Of course, I will allow them to breathe in space. Because you're the ruler of the plushy multiverse? Exactly!